Welcome my fellow Cerulians. Hello everyone. So we're here in uh, say Clapham, Clapham Park? Yeah, Clapham Park. Clapham North Side, just enjoying the beautiful sunshine. Guys, it's so nice. A little bit of breeze, windy, but the sun is just beating on us. And if you take a look, there's so many people out here. Oh, that was a 360. It's a beautiful day. Beautiful day. To enjoy the sunshine. Yeah, it's not in about... In lockdown. In lockdown. It's not about being indoors right now. And I um, don't think I've actually spoken to you guys since this whole situation has been happening. Um, I've just been constantly pumping out the reviews. But today I feel like just, I don't know, sharing how I feel my feelings what's going on with just everything really so i've been quite busy with with work i've been quite fortunate that i've been able to work from home we've both been yeah able, we've both been working from home, working from home. it's a bit crazy though because mm -hmm. she'll have calls i'll have calls and it's we live in a quite a tiny flat so it's quite difficult trying to navigate that situation that scenario where we're both in the same room and we're both having calls and you know then we have to go into awkward places like the bedroom or whatever just to distance ourselves but we've not been driving each other mad have we no i don't think we have i think we've been handling it quite well yeah um yeah surprisingly <laughs> what do you mean surprisingly what does what's that supposed to mean never you mind <laughs> so one of the things that i've been doing to keep myself sane is going for walks so normally places that i would normally take say the car and drive mm -hmm. say go up to the town center go up to the supermarket let's go to various places i've been taking the ability to just walk instead and although it does take a lot longer to walk i actually found it quite therapeutic and i think it's good because obviously if we're not going out when this lockdown and working from home, I'm not really getting that much exercise. Mm -hmm. and speaking of exercise, I won't lie to you guys, my motivation has plummeted. I think in the first two, three weeks, I was doing like workout, um, ho home workouts. Well, we're both doing home workouts. We're both doing home we're workouts. Both really committed we were, to it. Yeah, we were doing very well. Got the exercise bands and everything. I even went for um, running, but now I just, I just I've can't. Lost motivation. Just lost the motivation. Like, for it's me, not the same as going to the gym. For me, I mean, some people will, will disagree, but for me, I prefer going into the gym and actually making gains in the gym. Um, I don't actually enjoy jogging. Um, I find it very harsh on my knees, making myself sound old. <laughs> but I don't know. For me, I don't mind running on a treadmill. But when I'm running outdoors, I find it, I find it very taxing. So. I think since this lockdown I've only done that three times mm. and I haven't enjoyed it either way. I've done a bit of workout in the park but oh man, I just want that gym back. Yeah, I miss the gym. I really miss the gym. So yeah, we're just having a picnic. Um, uh, I'm trying to order my food. But trying to order something from Deliveroo. So I might actually do a, a little Deliveroo review. N nice thing about Clapham is that there's so many options, so many options to choose from. I'm not sure what I am going to order. Where would I add my, my voucher? Just give it here. Oh, add voucher. Add voucher code. Okay. So, Madame here is ordering the Athenian grill. We've been to the Athenian, well, we've been to the Athenian once together. I've been to the Athenian once by myself tell a lie i've been to the athenian three times so we're having a picnic we've got some thai sweet chili and some drinks um last time we went for went for a nice picnic to kind of mark our second anniversary didn't we mm -hmm. and we brought like lots of little nibbles and i made some some banging boga wheat and couscous with some vegetables so it was it was so peng um Maybe I should do a, a recipe for that in the future. So if you guys would like to see that, let me know in the comments below. Give it plenty of likes, would like to see that. Um, 
But yeah, we, we, we did that to just kind of mark the occasion of our second year anniversary because actually we were supposed to go to Jamaica. Jamaica, yeah. We done a lot of research. We knew where we were gonna go. It was Montego Bay and Ochos Rios. Ochos, was it Ochos Rios? Yeah. It was Ochos Rios, yes. Because mm -hmm. I know we looked at Negril and we decided, nah, yeah. we don't want to do Negril. <laughs> I mean, I spoke to one of my good good friends who's Jamaican, and she advised that Negril is only a place to really go if there's like an actual event happening that Ochos Rios and Montego Bay have so much more to offer. Mm. So we were like, okay. We're gonna do this. We're gonna do five days in Montego Bay, five days in Ochos Rios, stay at some really grand, lush, plush hotels. We've done our research, guys. Yep. This was gonna be an epic vlog for you guys to view. And obviously, the situation that's happened this year has happened, and you know, we just didn't go ahead with booking it, which thank God we didn't book it because, you know, trying to get your money back from these travel agencies is a bit of a mission. So we're glad we didn't actually book that. So, yeah, it's kind of unfortunate. But it's weird at the same time because this time last year, where were we? We were in Shanghai. We were in Shanghai. That's how we marked our first um, anniversary. We were actually in China. We were actually in China. We were there for, we were there for a while. Was I it 10 or 12 nights? No. No? It was supposed to be seven. But then oh, we yes. It by one, we did seven. No, one we extended night. it by two nights. Okay. It was two nights. We extended it by, yeah. Have you ordered your food yet? No, I don't know what's going on. What, is it frozen? It's not letting me add the voucher and now it's frozen again. I think, you know, I suspect that because we're out in the park and there's loads of people out here, it's affecting the, um, I don't know, the, the data coverage or whatever. Because yeah. that usually happens when you're like in a concert or something. Mm -hmm. oh. I've just actually left the missus back at the park because, like an idiot, I forgot to bring some plastic cups. So we've got drinks and nothing to drink them out of. So I'm headed off to Tesco's Express so I can get some cups and dash straight back. Still haven't figured out what I'm going to eat either. So, turns out I didn't actually have to buy any cups. My man blessed me with some Costa cups, which is good. Didn't have to spend anything. So now I'm headed back to the park. Hopefully I can get there before uh, Mrs. Food arrives because she's already ordered it and I don't think it's wise for her to leave her stuff while she goes and collects the food. The breakfast club. That's the, that's the first time I've actually had breakfast club was here in Clapham. I think this was actually the first one in London before it started to explode and go like viral everywhere. <clears throat> so after deliberation for about, Lord knows how long, probably like 10 minutes, decided to order biryani, a lamb biryani from a restaurant called Cafe, no, Spice Fusion Express. I found another place that I wanted to order from and it just vanished and wasted a good five minutes trying to find it. I think maybe they've stopped ordering, so I'm taking orders. So yeah, uh, Mrs. She's completely full, aren't you? Very full up. What did you have? Extremely full up. I had the Athenian, so it's a Greek place. Um, I had a chicken wrap with salad, chips, chips inside the wrap. That she has not finished. Well, that's separate chips, but there's chips inside the wrap. Um, there was this sauce, I'm not sure what sauce it was, but it tasted really, really good. Yeah. And chicken, it was yummy. Alright, what did you wash Very it down good. with? I washed it down with this drink. Well, yeah, this drink. What is um, it? Pink ginger. Delicious, guys. If you've never tried this before, you need to. I don't know if you can see it there. Pink ginger. Pink ginger. I got it from. Kick. Does it? I haven't tried it yet. I got it from kick. Sainsbury's. It's quite a premium drink. It actually cost two pound ninety five. Mm. Yeah, quite pricey, but you know, good quality what? things cost quite a bit. I thought, you know what? 
spoil ourselves today. So, no, I'm not, you know. Why? Because uh, I'm playing Russian roulette here. I'm just ordering from somewhere completely random, never heard of in my life. It's got good reviews. Okay. So I'm banking on that. So, yeah, we'll see. Load. We will see. And here I've got white peach and jasmine crafted soda from the London Essence. Sounds fancy. Got that right here. Yeah, it's very, it's very floral. Very, very floral. Not sweet at all, actually. Just really crisp and refreshing. refreshing. I don't think I'm, because I brought some Captain Morgan's spice rum. I don't think I'll put that in here because I think I'll totally ruin it. Probably what I would do is draw for St. Clement's orange, what is it? Organic Sicilian orange juice and organic Sicilian lemon juice. Mm -hmm. I think that will go a lot better with my Sounds Captain good. Morgan. So yeah, I'll have that for afters. So the time right now, guys, it's it's actually 7.19 and the sun is still beating down on us. You can see it right there. Still beating down on us. It's just brilliant. We bought some games, but I don't know if we're gonna play them, are we? Might not play the game. Uh, got some Jenga, got some uh, chess. I actually taught the missus how to play chess. Yeah, but I'm very bad. Yeah, but you know what? Practice. I need more practice. Practice makes perfect. You'll get better. You'll get there. <laughs> Cheers. That bangs. Goes very well. So my wood is gonna take another 20, 30 minutes to arrive. Wow. That's a while. And I have not eaten all day. Can you imagine? Well I had cereal. That's about it really. So um yeah. And obviously the remnants of a chips because this lady does not like chips. I'm not a fan of chips. Can you not like chips? I do like it. I'm just not a big fan. No, you don't like it. <laughs> Fifteen minutes later. So my biryani has arrived. It's really hot. Look at that. It smells really good. It smells amazing. It didn't come with cutlery. Fortunately for me. Mrs. she saved the cutlery that she got with her Athenian. So I got this lamb biryani with naga chili, so it should be quite spicy. The lamb is very tender, but the rice itself, it's not that it's bad. It's got some decent seasoning, but it is actually lacking salt. But the seasoning's all right. And the lamb is pretty tender. It's just the fact that it's lacking the salt. That's all that's letting this dish down. I don't know, I think I'll give it, I'll give it, a, I'll give it a three and a half above average. Room for improvement, but I'm not disappointed. I think what I'm going to do is, I'm going to save this, take it home, add a little bit of salt and just enjoy this. So yeah, I'm going to end it here. And the missus is getting cold, the sun's coming down. So I think that's why I'm going to lock, lock off this vlog. <laughs>